Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again this is Nevin from Nev's Tech Bits and today I want to talk a little bit about hard drive types, which types are the best, which models are the best, what brand names are the best. And one of the best ways we can see this is by going to someone who actually uses hard drives on a consistent, regular basis. Backblaze.com. Backblaze is known for their data centers. They do data and that's all they do. Once a quarter, they release information about how many of their hard drives went down. And this is something I always like to uh, come back and take a look at. Just give you a good idea of what's going on. So uh, one thing you'll notice here is they always break it down by models. Now, just because it's a good or a bad brand doesn't mean that that uh, that product that they're making that that model will be a good or bad brand uh, even Western Digital who is the best have had their bad models fact, I've run into my own batch of bad hard drives with Western Digital I had a hybrid drive with one terabyte on that died on me that had a bunch of my uh, daughter's early years on it most of those pictures I'll never get back but you gotta back up your data and I always say back up your data so Anyways, another thing that should be known is all of these drives that are listed here are platter-based drives. They're not SSDs. It's almost getting to the point where uh, where the platter drive manufacturers aren't making SSDs. The SSDs are being made by another manufacturer altogether, and they have their own uh, percentages. So one thing I'm definitely disappointed to see here is the uh, the failure rate of uh, the Western Digital, this 6 terabyte drive, 11%. Uh, I worked in a lot of auto parts places and with auto parts if you make any more than 3% uh, scrap uh, you no longer have your contract anymore so I don't know how these guys can get away with 11% especially Western Digital uh, usually it's Seagate Seagate is normally the worst let's see here uh, any more information on Seagate no not really a lot yeah, but uh, shoot, these days you almost got to look at exactly what model it is because where we got uh, Western Digital, 2% failure rate, 11% failure rate. I'm really not liking what I see here. This, this doesn't reflect on what the norm normally is. And uh, it's almost kind of seeming like it's becoming a free-for-all with hard drives. I'm, I'm really disappointed in the market these days anyways unless you have a platter drive that's just for data you don't need a data drive at all uh, you should be getting an SSD so let's see we're coming down to 8 terabyte models yeah all kinds of information about the different uh, the storage pods they use once again this is this is their game this is what they do this is what they get paid to do so I listen to these guys but yeah it definitely seems uh, this year like it's more of a crapshoot just it's free for all no no one particular brand is better than the others let's scroll up top sir if I'm doing this too quick I'm making you dizzy but yeah um, ch -ch -ch Seagate with a 10% 3.1 but man I'm really disappointed with seeing Western Digital down there the 6 terabyte drive that has 11% failure rate and it seems like uh, the bigger drives you get, the more they fail. But look at that, that HGST one, 8 terabyte. They didn't have a problem with any of them. They had a problem with 1.46% uh, of the Seagate's ST800DM002. So yeah, it almost looks like it's it's about the model number that you get. That kind of remembers, uh, reminds me of something an old army person used to tell me. Uh, he was a sharpshooter and he'd say that you wouldn't even go with a particular brand and manufacturer for a bullet you go and you'd find uh, you try a little bit of each lot and then you would fire that bullet and see how good it was and then you would go to that lot and you would only buy from that lot maybe the particular operator making it as uh, particularly on the ball or within tolerances you see manufacturers get tolerances of what they can do plus and minus sometimes they can go a little bit beyond that but the closer to perfect you get the better your uh, product will be and uh, yeah, sometimes it just comes down to the day it was being made and how competent the employee was who was making it. Once again, I'm disappointed to see these stats. You definitely check it out for yourself at uh, backblaze.com. Uh, for your disk, for your uh, hard disk based uh, hard drive, it'll give you an idea 
Well, models are good and bad. And uh, if, if you get any more like this, I'm going to be really disappointed in almost all manufacturers. And by that point, it'll be like, it doesn't matter what hard drive you go with, as long as it's a hard drive. So that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a